Good morning, everybody. It is June 21st, 2017, and you are watching On the Open, where we take a look at everything that's going on in Europe here at MarketStream.Live. And this is a must-see. Uh, European markets, well, they're moving to the downside. I'm Joe Cusick from the Cusick Group, securities offered by Moneyblock. Let's jump in. This is important, and, and full disclosure, I do have clients that are exposed to Europe. I do feel that there is a shift that could cyclically be a positive for the majority of the major European economies. But right now, they're following suit that their U.S. brethren did yesterday, pulling back. Uh, let's jump in and take a look at the U.K. and the FTSE right now. It's down about 31 points this morning. What's notable here is the Queen came out, gave her her annual address. Now, what's really notable about all of this is the fact that uh, she did not mention that U.S. President Trump is going to be coming in and taking a look and, and uh, you know, basically doing his goodwill visit. Um, that basically has some geopolitical potential tensions coming up, especially with Brexit, the shift in Parliament, um, the closer than expected vote between the Conservatives and the Labour Party. Um, so you really have some maybe some geopolitical tensions that are arising here, especially with what's going on here in the States. What's also notable is the fact of the matter is, is that you're seeing energy. Energy is a big component of the FTSE in the UK um, economy. It is under pressure. Crude, Brent, both down. They're both challenging lows so far of 2017. So we're going to watch this one very closely. UK stocks are down on that. Also, there was a huge miss and some concerning reports coming out about a subprime lender um, it was Provident Financial down 17% this morning uh, on profit warnings. This is putting ripples through the financial uh, areas and segments, not only in the UK, but also across Europe. You're seeing that the DAX is down 40 points, now challenging its 20-day moving average. This is going to be where the bulls are going to have to dig their heels in and hold their ground. Uh, we saw it in the UK. We're seeing it right now in the German DAX. What's notable here is the only bright spot is Merck, the drug maker, to the upside about three tenths percent. That's about all I'm seeing positive out of Germany. We're going to watch this challenge, that 20 day moving average on the DAX, see if that holds. Otherwise, we could have a battle here for the bulls. Taking a look at the French CAC, down. Uh, what's notable here is, is that it's down 27 points, sure, but it's financials that are leading the way. Again, there's uncertainty about inflation. Yes, the Germans now are pushing the ECB and to release the uh, Greek debt payment. But in the end of the day, it's about growth and inflation. And you're not seeing inflation and growth is starting to get a little bit stagnant at best. Watch this very closely. This is an opportunity where, yes, on a pullback, you might want to be looking to add what most institutions have already added to their portfolio, which is exposure to Europe. With that being said, watch these critical areas. Right now, today, France is challenging and broke through its 20-day moving average, and now it's challenging its 50-day moving average. Short and intermediate-term bulls in France could be in trouble. This could send ripples, especially since Macron, the new... Um, a newly elected French president has gotten basically his government the way he wanted to structure it together. They look like they're going to have some challenges. The last time this happened was about four days ago and it got below his 50 day moving average, but it was able to bounce earlier this week. We're seeing a pullback here. Let's see if the ripple effects here in the States are starting to start to weigh on the European markets. Um, I think it is. And where you want to watch is the currencies. You have the British pound actually stronger this morning. That's going to weigh on the markets. Take a look at the euro. The euro is basically trading flat right now, um, but you could see that it's um, holding up uh, its 50-day and looking to rechallenge its 20-day moving average. The ETF EXY uh, trading right around uh, 111. What's well, trading exactly 111.30? Watch uh, 111.65. That's going to be a resistance point. The euro gets over that. That means the strength in the currency could continue to weigh on the markets. And then finally, the bond markets. The bond markets are actually pulling back in price. This is interesting action. You have bonds pulling back. This is giving me some mixed signals here. Bonds typically pulling back in price. Yields going up means that, that there's a rotation out of the bond markets. It usually has to look to find somewhere to go. 
Now, yes, the Asian markets were mixed and China has been bouncing to the upside. U.S. markets are weak and the Treasury markets are extremely um, mixed in the U.S. right now with the long end of the curve under some pressure versus the shorter end of the curve. But you could see in France, Germany and Great Britain, the 10-year bonds in all three of those countries are down. Uh, that's notable. Let's see if that actually continues because if we see an exodus from bonds, an exodus from securities, that means people are raising cash. That's uncertainty. All right, folks, that's it right now for on the open in Europe. We're going to be checking out everything here in the open in the U.S. at 930 Eastern Time, 830 Central. See you then here at MarketStream.